good morning, now it's good evening, Journey Family Church, or almost noon. Um, sorry, we've been working on this for a while. Ironically enough, uh, yesterday I recorded this and it was on perfection, and I have not been hitting perfection on this, uh, trying to get this uploaded. It's been a little bit of a struggle and a trial, but we're just going to show you how real we are as a church that, you know, sometimes we don't get it right. And it really drives home the whole message. Some of you maybe already started watching this Devo um, at 7 o'clock this morning and saw that it shut off right at 2 minutes. I left you hanging. got a couple phone calls. I apologize. That wasn't <laughs> my intent. But now we have the real Devo. Hopefully this is going to work. And the whole point is, is that in life, we try to hit the mark. We try for perfection in being a husband and being a mother and being a wife and being a dad and being a worker or a co-worker or whatever it is. We're always trying to shoot for the best and sometimes we miss the mark. And we miss the mark because of other things that get in the way, um, we get busy, whatever it is. And I just wanted to slow down and just to, to say, okay, what does the Bible say? What does the Lord say about perfection? Because obviously we're not perfect. And if you think you are perfect, I'm sorry, you're not perfect. Uh, in Psalms 18, it says this. Psalms 18:30. God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for all who look to him for protection. The only one that's perfect is God. We are not. We are flawed. We have sinned. And it was through Jesus Christ dying on the cross that we could even have a glimpse of being perfect because of what he did for us when we were enemies towards him, Christ died for us. So without that, we want to have even a glimpse of perfection. So whatever you feel like you're missing the mark, just know the only one that's perfect, the only one that is perfect is God and for us to rest in him. It brings me to my next verse in Isaiah, Isaiah 26. It says, you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. If you're not having a perfect peace today, what are you focused on? What are you dwelling your thoughts on? Is it the Lord? Is it on your imperfections of what you're not best at or what you're, you're failing at? If that's what you're focused on, you'll never have that perfect peace that will come from the Lord. And that's why it's so important to focus on who is perfect, and that is Jesus Christ. It's not on your husband, it's not on your wife, it's not on your kids. No matter what you think about your kids, I'm sorry they're not perfect either, because I know my kids aren't perfect. But my kids will tell you that I'm not a perfect dad either. And it's not perfect when you got a semi driving by. Like I said, hopefully you are blessed by this video. This has been a work uh, of knowing that we are not perfect and we love the Lord and we hope you do too. Rest in knowing that God is perfect and if you want perfect peace, put your focus on Him. Thank you so much for tuning in.